The Red Hawks returned to the field following their bye week on Saturday for their homecoming game against the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles. Southeast got on the board with a touchdown pass from quarterback Jesse Hoskins to tight end Eric Williams. It was the Red Hawks' first first quarter touchdown of the season. The Golden Eagles fumbled away their next possession on the first play of the drive, giving Southeast excellent field position. Hoskett capitalized on the opportunity by hitting Trevon Billington for the touchdown. The Red Hawks tacked on a field goal late in the first quarter, giving Southeast a 17-0 lead. Early on in the second quarter, the Red Hawks defense made a big play as safety Omar Pierre Lewis intercepted PTU's quarterback Adam Browner, who was making the first start of his career. Southeast was unable to take advantage of the turnover, however, as kicker Nick Letang missed a 44-yard field goal attempt. On the Golden Eagles' next possession, PTU got on the board with a field goal of their own. The Red Hawks went into halftime up 17-3. After a scoreless third, the Red Hawks' offense got a big play early in the fourth quarter as Hoskett threw his third touchdown of the game, a 47-yard strike to Christian Wilkerson, extending the Red Hawks' lead to 24-3. Southeast got another turnover in the fourth as once again it was Pierre Lewis taking off Browner's pass. For the third straight week, junior running back Cameron Sanders broke free for a long touchdown. This time a 70-yard run out of shotgun to his left to put Southeast up 31-3, which would be the game's final. The Red Hawks are now 2-1 in OVC play, good for fourth place in the conference. Next week, Southeast will go on the road to play the 3-1 governors of Austin Peay.